All right, so how can a product like mayo, which contains eggs, and a product like ranch dressing, which contains both eggs and buttermilk, how can those be shelf stable? I've been seeing this comment a lot in regards to this pink sauce of it has milk, so there's no way it can be shelf stable. Now, while I don't know the actual pH of our sauce, so I can't say for sure, sauces with both eggs and milk can absolutely be shelf stable. There's a whole aisle of shelf stable sauces and dressings, and many of them contain egg and milk products, and they're shelf stable until you open them and then typically they need to be refrigerated. So back to the question, how is this possible? So pH is very important regarding these shelf stable sauces. So within acid foods, we have acidified foods and formulated acid foods. So acidified foods are low acid foods which have been acidified by adding something acidic. And the end product has an equilibrium pH of 4.6 or below. So acidified foods would contain foods like dill pickles, hot sauce, and pickled fish. The FDA does not include these foods as acidified foods. Formulated acid foods are foods which contain mostly acid foods, but a small percentage of low acid ingredients are added. And the low acid ingredients can't significantly change the pH from those acid ingredients. Examples of these types of products are barbecue sauce, salad dressings, and marinades. This is why I've been talking about pH so much in regards to this pink sauce. It's a very important thing to be testing and to understand whether it's an acidified food or a formulated acid food. Now both acidified foods and formulated acid foods can both be shelf stable. However, acidified foods have to follow additional regulations which monitor the processing, packaging, and testing of pH more closely than for acid foods. So why is that pH of 4.6 so important? It's important because Clostridium botulinum can't grow below that pH in addition to other yeast, bacteria, and molds. This is how these products are able to remain shelf stable and safe for the consumer. Here's a good example of a difference between an acidified food and a formulated acid food. Something like pickled cucumbers, where cucumbers are the predominant ingredient, um, which is a low acid food, which vinegar is being added to it. That would be an acidified food. Whereas you have a formulated acid food like barbecue sauce, where most of the ingredients are acid foods, and then you have a small proportion of low acid ingredients being added to that. Mayo falls into that acid food category as well. In addition to pH being very important for these foods, obviously packaging is as well, making sure there's a seal on it, and then that seal isn't opening and allowing bacteria and other things to get into it. So in any circumstance, if that seal is broken, do not consume the product. 